Hello lovely blood suckers and we are on with our second video for Digimon Theories series. Now this one is actually a well I guess you could call it a common theory but I'm gonna put my own twist on it. It's gonna actually be about Alice McCoy being actually a ghost. Now a lot of people say that yes she's a ghost but especially the actual creator of Tamers. But what if there's actually more to that? Now, let me explain. When Dobermon sacrifices himself to uh, allow the kids to bio merge, normally when a Digimon data is destroyed or sacrificed or however you want to say it, you normally, it, one of two things happens. It either becomes a digi egg and re and becomes reborn, or two, it becomes dead permanently and becomes a digi ghost. Now, the thing with Dobermon though, he's special because the Solvergens gave him the ability to sacrifice himself for the kids to bio merge and when he sacrifices himself he becomes two light beams and these beams surround the kids giving them the power of bio merge and all that but after doing so the beams also surround alice and dobermon's head appears and alice hugs dobermon well, hugs his head, I should say, to be more precise. So, but that doesn't last long either. The data disappears after the, well, the data beams disappear along with Dobermon's head. And then Alice herself walks off and she disappears. Now, as I said, a lot of people say for this reason, and plus of her dad too saying I'm sorry Alice to her picture a lot of people believe that she's a ghost my theory is sort of similar to that but not at the same time now here's why take a uh, survive for instance Technically, those kids are ghosts, but they're not ghosts at the same time. They're trapped in the digital world. And I mean, uh, the girl and the boy. At the beginning of the game. Now, what ha- what- let's say that the creators, the monster makers, as known in Tamers, actually when their kids got involved because it kind of involves their kids as well and this has been mentioned in Tamers that their kids were kind of uh, involved in this because of everything I can't explain that part good so if I'm rambling I do apologize but um, what was I saying? oh yeah but what if a Digimon actually kidnapped Alice or harmed her to a point where she was about to die but Dobermon shared some of his data with her? Oh, didn't mean for that to pop up. But uh, Dobermon saved some of his, shared some of his data with her to save her because Dobermon does work with the Solvergens, so that make it would make sense. I know I'm saying that word wrong too because I suck at words, so I do apologize. But um, so it makes sense him wanting to save Alice. Maybe him and Alice made a little bond when he was there in the human world when the. Digimon makers were making the Digimon and all that. And 
an evil Digimon possibly harmed her, and this ended up Dobermon sharing his data with her. So when Dobermon sacrificed himself, what if he had to? Well, we know he had to so they could become uh, bio merge evolutions. But what hap What if when he did that, Alice knew that she had to return to the digital world? And maybe Dobermon shared this with her telepathically and that was hidden so that we wouldn't know that and just assume that she was a ghost. What if because of this and because of whatever happened with the kids of the Digimon, Digi Monster Makers. Uh, what? And like I said, Dobermon shared his data with her. What if, for this reason, she can only be in the human world if Dobermon is at full strength? And when Dobermon, but when he's like pure data as what he became for the bio mergers what if this caused uh caused alice da alice's data uh to start messing up and she knew that she had to return to the digital world and that's why she disappeared because she's also never mentioned again never talked about again so it's possible it's possible that she's actually sharing data with Dobermon and they return to the digital world for Dobermon to recover. Anyways, I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Mwah.